Today's race wasn't just about the drivers, it was also about the fans who weren't sure if the race would even happen because of the pandemic. It on your side, Sonico Clemens has more on the road to race day. You can certainly feel the energy and excitement in downtown St. Petersburg. So many people have waited for this day and really this entire weekend. Fans have come from all over and for some, this is right here in their backyard. Roaring engines, people cheering, Firestone Grand Prix of St. Petersburg going off without a hitch. Jeff Schuler is a huge fan. His love for racing dates back to his childhood. Of course, he has his favorites. Alexander Rossi, Ryan Hunter Ray, James Hinchcliffe. I like them all, really. Schuler lives in Tampa, so he's a regular at these races. Ever since they've had this race, I've been here. Won't miss it. The Grand Prix is back after a bumpy year. The race was scrapped when the pandemic hit last March. It returned to limited fans in late October, and this year, organizers postponed the race until the end of this month to give more time for vaccines to roll out and allow more fans to come out and watch. Last month, St. Petersburg City Council voted 7 to 0, allowing 20,000 people to attend each day this weekend. I've always had that desire to just go and see the cars. I mean, it's, it's loud, it's fun, they're fast. Reed Ruinoso calls St. Petersburg home, so he knows the impact the race brings to the city. So I work downtown, I work at a bar, so it, it brings a lot of people into the city. It's just, it's really good for all the service industry bars. Schuler agrees. Yeah, it gets us on the map, really. I mean, people come from all over the country here. Despite the delay, Excitement is at an all-time high in St. Petersburg. I'm Nico Clemens, 8 on your side.